Beating the odds. Ryan Blair. Ryan Blair. Ryan Blair. Ryan Blair is the CEO of PathConnect.com. Former guest himself, Ryan Blair. 29-year-old multimillionaire Ryan Blair. You guys are the perfect panel for this. <laughs> when I was a kid, I lost my parents to drugs and alcohol. I had no standard to live by, so I, I rejected authority. The turning point for me was when a very successful man came into my life. And he saw something in me that I didn't even see in myself. Today, my goal is to share the lessons that I've learned in life and in business, and to help people to find the power within them to make a difference. Beating the odds to achieve their dreams, deserving local high school kids get some practical tips on getting ahead. It is all part of Fox Studios' journey to excellence. Any of you guys ever uh, dream about becoming rich? Through a mentorship program called Journey to Excellence, 50 high-achieving students from low-performing schools and circumstances got a lesson in beating the odds. That's the room me and my mother shared. 29-year-old multimillionaire Ryan Blair says he had help escaping the poverty he grew up in. The one thing that I find in common of all successful people is a mentor of some sort. Ryan Blair is the CEO of PathConnect.com. That's a company which connects small business owners with mentors. Ryan is also a successful investor and a business consultant. Welcome back, both of you. Should I be marketing on network sites like MySpace or Facebook? It's almost free marketing in many cases, uh, but I would focus on the demographic and the audience that you're looking to connect to. There are a number of different social networks out there. There are new social networks that arise every single day. Mm -hmm. So I wouldn't say uh, it's always Facebook or MySpace, but there's business-oriented social networks that are good marketing tools. So really look around to see where your market is. I would put them up everywhere where you could drive traffic to your business because I think social networks are going to change the nature of the Internet, so I would invest time in marketing through them. So you guys know a lot about this. Does that take a lot of work? It's not just a matter of putting a, a page up, right? You actually have to be involved with it or no? Well, you, there's interactive components to them. So unlike a brochure website, site where you're just stating who you are, you're actually now connecting to your audience base, which mm -hmm. is why social networks have taken off. So there's a lot more time involved, but the tools of social networks and the templates are really easy to use, and an entrepreneur can do it themselves in many cases. Now also joining us is Ryan Blair, a 27-year-old entrepreneur who says, look, he's overcome a lot of adversity in his life, and he did not have to classify his poverty as a disease in order to do it. Ryan, you don't look homeless or impoverished, but you were, weren't you? Yeah, absolutely. And there were enough labels put on me go growing up in poverty that I didn't need another one. There's I think that's another excuse. That's an excuse. Yeah. Another no. excuse. I was labeled as having ADD. I take care of myself. I've started three companies, both of which have become multi-million dollar companies. And I was labeled as being depressed. I was labeled as all these different things. And you give him another excuse. Don't, don't enable him to say that he has ADD or anything else. All he has is a lack of motivation and a lack of making good decisions or making any decisions. And Ryan, you hit the nail on the head when you said it's about fear.